Mr. Hanshaw, the last time we had this, we can hug. You want to hug? We can hug. There, there it is. Mike Awkward Hanshaw. Oh, no, no, there's nothing <laughs> awkward, especially when you're five and one in conference play. Last time you and I spoke, you'd gone seven scoreless innings against UL Lafayette. Your team and your pitching performance has only gotten better since then. Just reflect and review in, in the last month and what you saw to yourself in that win against Lafayette and where this team has gone since then. Well, I mean, it was a good start against UL Lafayette, and then, you know, I guess I would say I haven't been the best since then, but I've continued to compete, and having these guys behind me is awesome because it gives me all the trust in the world that they're going to make plays for me, and, you know, that gives me confidence, and that's what you need to pitch. You came into today's game with a 1.4 ERA, and you're saying you haven't been at your best. Where, where are your standards at right now? Well, I, I guess I would call myself a perfectionist. You know, I like to <laughs> go out there every time and be as perfect as I can. Now, sometimes that can hurt me, but that's just the, the mindset that I have, knowing the type of guys that I have on this team. I have guys that, you know, fight, and they're determined, and they grind, and... It just goes to show, you know, all these games we've come from behind late in the game. We're scoring runs in the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth inning of the game. It, it's awesome because I know that nobody on our team is giving up. That We always have a chance to win no matter what. Mike goes eight and a third innings, gives up two runs on, on one pitch, and you heard your coach say that that was the only bad pitch out of 100 that Spencer Halloran hit out of the park. But let's start our conversation now in the ninth inning because in, in a rare error to lead off the inning, you left with runners on the corners, but then Adam Tarver, when I see him, I just know the Colonels are going to win. He's now 4-0 and as you guys execute a great defensive play on a squeeze, get the out at home plate pop fly to end the inning and then and then a walk off on a wild pitch how much of that ninth inning work as a, a microcosm of the kind of success and season your team has had well it's all about trust we've never lost trust anytime during the season we know that you know if we get in some tough situations like we did there you know in the ninth inning we know that the guy coming into pitch is is going to do his thing he's going to go out there and he's going to try and get us out of the inning no matter who's on base no matter how many else and it, it that's an awesome trait for this team. Let's look at the whole body of work this weekend. Cole Stapler on Friday, Caden Hatcher yesterday, and then what you did today. That would be 23 and a third innings, three earned runs scored off the Colonels' three starters. How, how hard is this staff going to be moving forward, and, and what does this say about your ability after the weekend you just had at home? Well, we have a great staff. You know, we've been working ever since the start of the year. You know, we didn't have that great of a year last year, and – the guys that came back, you know, from the summer, the returners, we've all had it on our minds that we're not going to let that happen again this year. You know, we've all had it on our mind that, you know, we want to come out here and we want to dominate and we want to be the best pitching staff in the league. Congrats on the win to be 5-1 in conference play for a team that was preseason number nine in the conference. Still a lot left to be accomplished this year, but how can this week set the tone for one of your biggest road test of the year at McNeese next weekend well it, it's good going into next week you know we got a lot of confidence you know a lot of motivation we got a, a lot of things going the right way and you know this is going to be a big week we got to keep preparing for the weekend you know it's not an easy game this midweek you know none of these games are easy we always have to fight we always have to grind you know it, we can't take a day off and when we take a day off that's what hurts us we just got to be prepared Congrats on the win. Even though you get the no decision, you set the tone, and, and your team has now picked up three straight important wins after a couple tough midweek losses to Ole Miss and Tulane. We'll see you Wednesday night against Southern. Thank you very much. Mike Hanter on the Colonels. They win it on a walk-off wild pitch. 3-2 to two is our final on a Sunday afternoon, a Sunday sweep for the Colonels against HBU.